Hello, hello to all the amazing people that near me here with some more cards of our tropical island. We're gonna be playing some more mermaid. It seems like we are on day five here. Okay, so yeah. I left myself in a nice morning situation, which means I can't do crap because it's day. <laughs> I was being told though <clears throat> that I should probably train some um, spear fighting during the day, and I think that's a lovely idea. Uh, except I don't want to use the fishing spear for it and I don't have the normal spear right now but we'll definitely look into that we are a little bit stressed but I hope my feet will stop hurting relatively soon I think I was talking about maybe making a loom in the future so we can start looming it up uh, we have a lot of food though so that's really good let's drink a little bit let's see how dangerous the sun is that's moderate sun uh, we are stressed because probably because of the lack of entertainment right yeah morale's kind of fine uh, nosha going up you can remove nosha by sleeping i guess uh right 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 uh, we can make some of these uh, we can like build towards our basket here coconut meat spoiled that's fine we cannot eat that anyway you can throw it outside though and then go outside see if we get a seagull oh yeah by the way <laughs> when i stopped the recording last time i went outside and inside and nothing else and then the seagull popped and i attacked it with a spear and i missed so uh, if you notice that there's 15 minutes more uh oh but i do want a basket though if you notice it's 15 minutes more in, in this one that's that's why okay uh, I was also having a huge discussion about eating raw food. Uh, <laughs> I, I understand, I understand, but I just don't, I just don't believe in the thing. It's like, let me tell you a story of the um, ever losing mystical super tapeworm, right? So there is no proof, there is no proof that the super elusive mythical tapeworm that gives you max parasites does not exist so yeah <laughs> i know it's silly but uh, yeah anyhow we're gonna need to sleep so we're gonna rest for one hour here that's gonna give us stress a little bit uh, i almost feel like going outside and having some fun to distress a little bit mm, what could be fun like sometimes making cords is a little bit fun not really and drying skin okay uh, this thing's not flooded, so after a while we need to go and wash ourselves. There we go. Yeah, I hope this doesn't go much up more. That seems like it will be. Stress is causing us to poop, apparently. <laughs> but this thing's going down anyway, so that's fine. Yeah, I'm still hoping that like once the, feet, the hurt goes away, uh, we'll be able to... We don't have any sunburn, though. I will go and dive here. I really want to distress a little bit. Yeah, I know it's going to give me a little bit of burns, but uh, uh, it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Let's see. Ah, still going up. Okay. Okay, it's not too much though. Too much, too much burn. Okay, let's eat some fish here. We discovered a new blueprint. Good. Uh, let's continue this thing. sleep once more oh come on stress stress stop happening let's see let's see let's see okay so right now only the minor pain is increasing it I get pain from both the these two okay come on heal heal how's the how's the foot color says this is really demanding by the way I think I need to make the food wrappings. That's like I think that's the only way to actually be able to deal with this thing. And yeah, now we're super stressed out. And that means super nosha. Okay, can we make a basket here? We can. I think that's gonna be good. There we go. We threw up because of all the stress. Okay. Low sun strength. Okay. Uh, a rain would be nice as well. Need another fish here. And another one. Are we tired of eating fish? No. Okay. I will try to remove the feet pain here. So I will stay where I am. I will stay here where I am in the in the 
beach and hopefully let's see woven backpack okay okay a little bit tired of eating fish well that's fine we have tight pulls we can harvest now okay uh right okay these things so we're gonna eat these today because they don't take any time to eat uh right forage yeah i don't want to go out yet so we're gonna forge here there we go. Now we can safely go outside. There's no more sun. Yeah, I'm gonna go outside. Gonna try. Oh, there's. That's nice, I guess. Okay, gonna try to remove all the feet pain, and hope that's enough that we can actually uh, start getting our stress down. I'm gonna go and make a sand castle. Okay, that helped a lot. And let's go and dive. That also helped a lot. Okay. Gonna spearfish. Okay. Then I'll forge. Gonna forge this thing like there's no tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna spearfish some more. I really need this to go down. I could... Let's dive once more. Come on. Mm, very stressed. Pain. <sighs> Why is she in so much pain? Like it's just some minor pain from the feet. I don't remember where the threshold is, but it's going down so slow. So now I'm like, okay, I could explore and try to find some sandals so I can more easily explore. I think the only solution here would be to like... Uh, eat that. I think the only solution would be to make the loom and craft the feet wrappings. Because it's just so bad. But that will hurt my feet. But I, it's just going to, down too slow. I don't see it happening. Okay, let's grab the axe. Do we even have the axe? We should have the axe. Okay, we have the axe. So we can go to mangroves, bring back a whole bunch of uh, sticks and make the loom and make the food wrappings and then remove the stress. Yeah, I think we're going to be doing that. Although mangroves are pretty dangerous. Okay. Also exploring this thing will hurt our feet, but hey. Only small trees here. Okay, that's also kind of bad. No palm trees here. Oh, there is. Oh, nice. Okay, that's done. Good. Good, good, good. Now, for a veteran player, you would expect that I know exactly how many sticks do I need. I have no idea. <laughs> I think it's like... Uh, let's see. A more tailoring needed. Okay, that's also a problem. That's also a problem. Explore once more. There we go. I'm gonna go back now. Okay, how many sticks? Eight. You don't need that. A little bit of sticks will be nice. There we go. And tomorrow we can just hop here, I guess, gather some stuff. Although not sure if it's worth one hour just to gather materials. Okay. This did increase my pain, but uh, okay. Um, right. I could... Okay, there's an axe here already, so I didn't have to bring one. I forgot about that. There's a lot of materials here. If you bring the basket, we can carry this back. I, I didn't bring a basket because it's heavy and you can't put the long sticks in it. Okay, let's go back. And there we go. And I will go and dive here once more. There we go. And then we're going to go inside. How dangerous is it? Low sun strength. Okay. Making some protection would also be cool, I guess. Uh, 
So yeah, we're gonna need more tailoring. That's no problem. We can work on tailoring. Uh, let's take a little bit of a break, maybe. Uh, let's see. We need to eat, though. We need to eat. We got one more fish here. There. We got some fish scraps. Until we are sick of fish. Okay. That does demoralize us, but my morale has a tendency to go up right now, so that's cool. Right. Okay. Huh. Uh, I guess we will need to work on tailoring. Do we have, like, enough? Okay, we do have some fuel if we want to cook some stuff. And I kind of want to cook my crab, so we're going to be doing that. Not that, though, do we? Uh, yeah, sure. There we go. Cool. Uh, let's make a... We're going to need some yarns. Definitely. Let's make a cord first. There we go, grab the crabs out, put a couple more in. And then we can make a, a couple of yarns here that we're going to need for our wrappings. So we're going to have two. Okay. So that unlocked it. That unlocked it. Now we need to research it. We can do that. We can make a woven palm hat. We should probably do that. <coughs> Sorry about that. That usually happens in the morning, same as yesterday, right around the clock. My voice being like, are you going to be talking today? You're going to be talking today? You're going to be talking today? And I'm like, yes, yes, yes. And my voice like, uh, no. But it is a battle we win eventually. Uh, right. So I'm going to put another piece of stick on there. Now I want to, I want to, okay, we're going to research that. That's fine. That's okay. I'm going to get some more stuff here. I'm going to, we threw up. Yeah. Throwing up's not good. It's all the stress. There we go. I guess we need to eat these now anyway. So we're gonna do it. There we go. Nine minutes left. Do another one of these. There we go. Nice. Fish and chips, all these new nice recipes which we cannot make because we don't have a pot. <laughs> and I don't know when we will have a pot, to tell you the truth. Okay, get these out. Some more prawns, maybe a fish now as well. Although we do have a lot of fish scraps we need to eat as well. They are free to eat, but they are also spoiling, so that's something to keep in mind. At least we have a basket now, so it's easier to like juggle things around. Um... Uh, Right, let's do that. Let's forge some more, I guess. We could make a seafood cup. Should we make a seafood cup? Yeah, I think so. Do we know how to make it? Uh, urchin meat needed. Well, we do have it. We just need to open it up. Nah, I guess we could. It's a nice meal. Uh, there we go. Mm, yeah, I feel like we could. Although we are researching something important right now, the loom, right? Are we? How much longer? Five more hours. Yeah, that's a lot of time being unhappy and puking and... Ugh. 24 minutes. How long does it take to do this thing? 45 minutes. That's fine, I think. Is seven enough to make the loom, though? That's that's a that's a winning question here, right? Well, if not, we can go grab some more, I guess, and make it tomorrow. Doesn't make me super happy, but hey. Uh, so that way we could start training some spear. I'm gonna need another yarn here. There we go. You know what? Let's say seven's enough. Let's say seven's enough. There we go. Crab. Let's eat some of these. Uh, we are super hot, so we're gonna wash here. Yeah, mermaid like really hard to get up and going, but. Once we do, it's gonna be pretty nice. Okay. 
I guess we can do one of these now. There we go. Unlock the seafood cup. We will need to cook that though. We'll do it. We'll do it. Uh, let's grab some more snake grass. We are running out of that as well. Okay. Okay, food wise, we're pretty amazing right now. Gonna cook that. Anything else we have to cook? No. Well, we do have another urchin. How long does it take to break this thing down? Let's see. 15 minutes. Yeah, it's not ideal, but hey, okay. Okay, another half an hour here. Um, make a court. There we go. And I think we're gonna take embers now. But we don't have any wood to place it on, so that would be useless. I think we just let it burn out. Or we can turn it off, save the 2% fuel. That also works. But I'll think about maybe grabbing out charcoal and ash. That's probably better though, right? Because charcoal will give us more than... Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's true. Weather is being like very, very clear. I wonder if like... Uh, game has like a difficult setup for this. Okay, not tired of eating fish. That's good. Uh, right. Okay, 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 okay. So we're gonna need some more quartz for the loom. Uh, let's also go and take a rest. There we go. 30 minutes, yeah, let's build it. Okay, we have enough, good. Do that, grab that. Wash. Do that do that and hey yeah we have socks welcome to the <clears throat> age of technology mermaid you're a uh, tether now craft food wrappings there we go and that will remove our pain that will uh, remove our pain yes that will remove our pain uh okay good 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 no more pain no more pain amazing burns I don't know why this signal is here. I mean, right. Well, of course, now we are hungry and stuff, but hey, I'm gonna work on that now. Let's go and research the seafood cup. Uh, I'll eat until the hunger does not affect stress anymore, all right? And then I'll probably go to sleep. And then I'm gonna make a seafood hub, cup or something. Let's drink. How long till that's researched? Two more hours. Okay. There we go. Okay. Anything else? I can eat the crabs. I can make this from the roasted prawns, right? Yeah, we can. Okay. She can eat like a lot. Like just making sure she can, she has all the food she needs will gonna take like ages here. Okay, that's done. Right. So for a seafood cup, you're gonna need some water. We can use coconut water, but we only have one coconut, so we can make one. <laughs> okay, and we cannot separate this because we don't have the, the small thing, the, the clay jar. However, hopefully she can eat this. It's a whole bunch of seafood inside. So, there we go. Uh, right, does this take time to eat? No. So this is all good food that doesn't take any time to eat. But we don't have any normal food anyway, so whatever. Okay, we can let this one rot, so we can do some farming if we want to. But what would we farm with to, towards anyway here on the mermaid? Yeah, that's a really good question. And the answer is probably, well, nothing really. Okay, so now it's... Okay, okay, okay. So as soon as we get some entertainment, the stress should start going down, which is pretty good. Better outside's moderate strength, so let's not play around with that. I'm gonna make another court here, and that now it's 20, so we can go outside, get rid of all that stress. So we're gonna go and dive. 
Right, why is it raising now? The stress should not be raising. Like, everything's fixed. So... I don't understand. Make another sand castle. Okay, that removed it. Yeah, I don't understand. Why are we stressed out? I mean, this is obviously a huge problem because there's very little we can do against it. So weird. Right, I definitely want to forge this thing. And we definitely want to spear fish some more. Okay, uh, let's go grab this fishing spear. No luck. Okay, let's do some more foraging. Let's try, we're gonna try to space this out a little bit. I mean, there's plenty of food to forge, though. That's not not a problem. But the whole stress thing is like really bedazzling me right now. It's still going up, even though like things are fine. There should be like there's nothing affecting it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what what people have to say about this. Maybe somebody already playing the mermaid, having some luck with it, hopefully. And they can pitch in with some info there. Right. I was like, I had a feeling something's wrong because like I had like, uh, I had a little bit of a burn and had a little bit of a pain and no entertainment, but it still felt like stress is going up too much. So I'm not sure how what's up with that. Okay. Now I should go somewhere and start collecting some stuff. Well, in mangroves we can find some. Well, actually we have like a lot of items in the mangroves, right? Including some things that would let us build a... Um, okay, how much food do we have here? Will rats come here? I don't know. But let's say let's say we keep these because they're super light, right? Yeah, they barely don't weigh anything. And we can put the fish in there. There we go. And we can leave the spear here for now and leave that. And we don't need the axe. So we can go to mangroves, grab the stuff from there. Taking a walk will also like give us some distressing. Yeah, the stress is causing us to be nauseous. And we are nauseous for like a whole bunch of reasons. Sodium, full tense early pregnancy yeah we're throwing up a lot at least our weight's still pretty good <laughs> i'm dreading the day we meet the the sea hounds though and i don't know when they start coming but like mentally i'm already preparing for that eventuality so so we're gonna grab a whole bunch of palm fronts here the idea is that we make a woven palm hat and I feel like grabbing a piece of wood here might be a good idea. Although we already have two axes, so we're fine in that way. Some snake grass would be cool as well. Some leaves for the fuel, I guess. I mean, going with yellow is good, right? Because it takes one hour to come here and like an extra 15 minutes to carry what? 10 palm fronts. Is 15 minutes good for 10 palm fronts? I think it is. Because... Okay, resume that. Okay. We could, like, st try spearfishing here in the mangrove forest. I think there are those small snaky things, but they're mostly safe-ish. Uh, you know what? Let's do it here. Yeah, see? That thing. <laughs> um... Let's eat a sea crate, I guess. Okay, so tomorrow we have something to do. We will not actually have a lot of time to spear fish. I need my hat, I think, so. Yeah. Okay, let's head back. One hour. Oh, no, that's a little bit too much. There we go, 45 minutes. Like, time management on this one is like, oof. Okay. Okay, stress is pretty good. 
Okay, and let's go and... Okay, let's place this inside. Actually, let's go inside. Okay, we're gonna empty that. We're gonna pick up our food back up. There we go. Not sure what's up with seagulls, but... Um, Let's try to lure them. We also need to figure out where we're gonna find more coconuts. Uh, desolate beach does not have any palm trees. I mean, it is a desolate beach, so that's expected. Another prawn here, some more fish maybe. Okay, let's have some fun. There we go. And let's go for a dive. Okay, that's good. Let's go another dive. I think we are finally rid of the stress. And this seagull... Painful. Not super painful, but, you know, a little bit painful. So we got one take of the damage, I think, on 415. And that's mostly acceptable. We found another flint. Wait, did we dive the flint? We dived the flint, didn't we? Okay. Right. So we're gonna need to start the fire again to eat. That's okay. I think we are doing splendid here, actually. Like, another seashell necklace would be pretty cool. We don't have enough seashells, though. And exploring the beach here might be dangerous. Like, yeah, I need to think about, like, some long-term plans here. <clears throat> we did not really <laughs> think that. For now, we are just surviving. So, no long-term plans yet. But definitely, like, a long-term plan will be needed. Okay, I'm going to put that there. We're going to start by doing some fish. All right. There we go. That's good. Then we can cook uh, a secret, maybe. Oh, no. We need to skin it first. This is like... this Is this really worth it? I'm going to think about it. I'd probably... Is. Or would we rather, like, train a spear? I don't know. Skin snake. Okay, do that. Okay, now we can eat some fish. There we go, good. And how long does it take to eat this? Yeah, this is a horrible food. It's fine. Yeah, we are not a huge fan of snaky things, are we? <laughs> okay. Alright, so we can make a cord while waiting for that. There we go. Wonderful. Hopefully our stress days are like uh, uh, in our past for now. No. <laughs> I say that and then stress starts going up again. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Is it going up as well outside? This... So there's like, it seems like there's a hidden modifier we can't see here. It's causing us to go up in stress even though there's none. No no reasons to go up. It's so weird. Okay. Yeah, I'm not happy about that as you can tell. I'm not happy about that. Uh, I feel like I should not be under loads of stress right now because I did everything right. Okay, we learned how to make a Zack. Interesting. I mean, that's really, I, that's uh, very good, actually. That's pretty good. Okay, this thing will need some more fuel if you want to cook the rest. And there we go. Uh, what else can we do here? We can do that. We can eat the crab. And there we go. Uh, right, we got one more bronze here. Oh, really? Oh, game. Really? You gave me seaweed? I didn't want to know seaweed. Right. Uh, I guess we could go and have a normal night of sleep here. That would also probably help. Yeah, maybe that's why we are stressed out. We just didn't have a good night's sleep. Well, I mean, good day's sleep. 
I don't have enough for the nest though, do I? So let's see. Yeah, I'm missing one seaweed, so. But maybe we can like, uh, okay, I think we are done cooking, right? Yeah, so we can turn this bad boy off. And again, I think 6% is worth it to take out charcoal and ash. All right, uh, now let's eat something. Let's eat a fish. Are we full? You know what? We should keep the track of our situation here. There we go. Right. Is this enough to sleep for four hours? That's the question. Yeah, let's try sleeping for four hours and see what is the, are the consequences of that. I'm gonna wash. And then I'm gonna go to sleep. Uh, when is the tide coming? Maybe we should sleep during the tides. Yeah, that's a better idea, definitely. Uh, let's, uh, let's start crafting the palm hat. Okay, we are sleepy though. You know what? Let's go for that nap. Okay, stress is stable. Okay, a little bit of back pain, but nothing super crazy. Mm, shed. So one idea I have is like making a shed inside. Oh wait, that counted as a rep. What? We got like, we got like a mission. Molds, crustaceans, meat, bird, fish, and eggs should give me all I need. I think that counted as meat. The snake counted as meat. Right. So now we just have to eat the, the bird and the eggs to finish this one. It's not like really that important though. Right. We'll have to go to mangroves to grab some mud, but there are monitor lizards there and I just don't feel like I want to get beaten by them. Uh, like what's the alternative? Try to explore all the way up to the wetlands. That sounds like very, very dangerous. So what do we need for the hat anyway? I didn't build that in a while. Okay, one more. And then probably a couple of hours of fiddling with it. Yeah, sure enough. Okay, let me see. Do we have like... So it says low sun strength. This doesn't affect it, right? Uh, sun exposure, uh, sunburn. Okay, uh, can we see, there should be like a stat which says how well we are protected, right? Damage, chemical protection, sun protection, there we go. Right, so if you go outside. I mean, I would love me some seagull, right? Okay. Or at least train some fishing. And it seems like he used a fi she used a fishing spear, which is not ideal. Okay. So we do have some some protections from a woven palm hat. I wonder if the woven palm hat can can uh, protect against sun exposure. Oh, there we go. Sun exposure. How intense the contact the sun is having on your skin. Low sun strength plus sun protection minus. So if I like, okay, let's spin this thing. Okay, that's the useful, that's the useful stuff, right? So if I remove the hat. So we like half the sun exposure with the hat. Okay. So let's say I let's say I go inside, do something here for 15 minutes, like uh, I don't know forage. And I have no wounds and then if like I say I go outside and I don't know uh spearfish. Okay, the sunburn is going up a little bit, but let's see exactly how much. I'm gonna go back inside on a round of foraging. There we go. Okay, we got a little bit burnt, but uh, 
that thing doesn't even cause pain, so we're fine here. And now it's safe to go outside again, right? Right, right, right. Okay, so we got the hat. That's the first step of protection. Uh, what else can we make here? I know we can make a straw hat, but uh, yeah, I didn't get to it yet. Mermaid nest would be nice. I don't know what that's for, but um, I guess we could find out. Okay, it's night, so I feel like eating stuff that doesn't take any time. There we go. Not go up to full because reasons. Uh, right. Minor birds going down. Okay. So we can forage. I don't see any stress. Let's pin the stress as well. I think I'll, it seems like we are kind of stabilizing here. Maybe stress goes up all the time over time. Maybe it always did. I just didn't know it because it's so easy to like deal with it, right? Yeah, maybe stress just goes up all the time, the whole time. Okay, let's go and dive. That didn't like really remove anything. Okay, let's, um, we'll probably travel now, right? Do we go again to mangroves, grab some more sticks there? Like this tight pole, it's like screaming to us to forage it though. Is this one better than the one inside? I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so here are our options. Eastern grasslands, mangrove forest, or a volcano. So this thing takes 15 minutes to travel to. This thing takes 30 minutes. This thing is like a hell hole. We don't want to go there. So if we go to eastern grasslands, after that we would reach western grasslands, and after that there is a jungle. And after jungle there is a wetlands. Hmm. That's like quite a trip, right? <laughs> That's quite a trip. Mm, not sure how wise that is. Uh, we could also like explore here, try to find the bird rock. I don't know, not know if we can find a bird rock here. I think we might. And then we could use the bird rock to like uh, circumnavigate the island, which might be s smarter. Uh, yeah. I'm just too worried, like, if we stay here and explore the desolate beach, there's nothing really here for us, though, right? Like, what would be a better location and why? Uh, how far... Hmm. I wonder if from the eastern grasslands we can find the eastern highlands and make some copper tools. That would be really good. But we will need mud, and mud is found inside the mangrove forest. I don't think wetlands is really, like, a possibility. I really don't think it is. I think we will need to go to the mangrove forest and explore it and uh, try to find the, the muds, the mud pits. Did we already find some? I don't remember. We need some mud and dirt. We'll need to make like, uh, we'll need to make some technology, like a stove and stuff. Yeah. Also, we'll need like uh, we'll need a kiln if we ever wanna make copper tools. Anyway, we'll need uh, to make a forge, but we'll need to make a kiln to like uh, destroy the stones inside there. Yeah, I just don't feel like I wanna explore this place though. So, do we move to the normal beach? Like, how hard would that move be? Like, how much stuff do we have in here that's really necessary? Well, we built up, we built a loom. So that's fun, it's kind of necessary. But I can make all the clothes I need, I guess, and then move out. Most of the things here is like not really anything super crazily important. Like cords are pretty light to hairy. Yeah. And then if you go to the beach, beach will be way more like, you know, comfortable. Like the rock caves it takes 15 minutes to the beach and back, that's true. But after that, jungle outskirts just nearby. And right now, if we need wood, we need to go to this place. I don't know. It's a hard decision. It's going to, like, shape the rest of the run. So I'm really sorry. I'm, like, uh, holding you hostage here, like, thinking about this kind of things. But it is kind of an important decision. I can delay it one more video here. 
because uh, you know we don't have to do anything right now but uh, we have to make it make the decision in the next video and so like like a really interesting decision as well so there are two questions where do we get mud a mangrove forest yeah i don't think wetlands is an option but if wetlands not an option then this is this place is better than the rock cave and we are already here so would that mean that we use the mangrove forest for all our needs maybe okay uh let's go I'm gonna empty the heavy stuff here. There we go. That can go out, that's fine. That. I'm gonna make the nest tomorrow, it seems like. Oh, but 19%. How long does it take to make it? 30 minutes. I don't want this to spoil, and I really wanna know what the nest is. So, I'm gonna make it, although this is not really what I planned for. Make a mermaid nest, right? A nest made of seaweeds it helps stay wet and fight land sickness. Ah, you can go inland and make that nest inland. That's interesting. That's interesting. Hmm. So I assume you need seaweed to repair it over time. That's really cool, by the way. Okay. What do we have inside here? Let's store the fish instead. There we go. A uh, couple of crabs here. I guess we could eat them. It's only six minutes. Okay. Okay, leave this here. And then we can go into the mangroves again. Yeah. Scared. Scared. Slash scared. Okay, traveling does, did reduce the stress. Yeah, I didn't find any mud pits here yet. So I could use another like uh, basket on our back. We need more long sticks for sure as well. Yeah, I really don't know when the lizards will decide to pay us the visit. Okay, a couple more long sticks. I think that's gonna be fine for now. We have a lot of palm fronds as well. Right. Yeah, I didn't find any mud pits yet. It's like I saw in the patch notes they increased the amount, but apparently not so much. I still didn't find any. Let's see what do we find first, the mud pit or the lizard? Okay, we found the mud pit. <sighs> right, so that's nine mods, right? That's nine mods. That's definitely not enough for the kiln, but it's a start. I don't know how the lizards work here. Is it until certain percentage you can't get them? Or is it like... Maybe I should just do a test run and try there. I have no safe spots left though. That's like... That's like a little bit problematic. Oh, this mermaids run so tactical. And I didn't even... So if there were no sea hounds, then I would just be, you know, not worrying too much. I would just be taking my time, you know. I'll probably go to wetlands to get the mud because it's safe and just explore through the half of the jungle and walk there each night. But uh, since, since the hounds are a problem, probably will be, I'm a little bit worried about them so i feel like i need to be efficient here and yeah that changes things up a little bit these things we have a load of them we could make like i probably want to make another another basket maybe uh the one you carry on the back mm. i'll grab some wood here just so we have some wood but that means we're gonna carry a lot less back. I don't need the sticks right now though, so we can leave them here for now. So these ones, these ones are way more interesting for me to carry back because they spoil and disappear. Uh, meanwhile, the uh, the fresh leaves return into dry leaves and then we're gonna start using them for the tinder and that's gonna be really good. Sun protection. Oh, mangrove forest gives you some sun protection. So in theory, you'll be way more protected if you're here. Hmm. 
we could put mud on our skin and protect us that way but that would mean we get cholera which is not fun cholera really changed the name of the game i feel like okay all right uh do we overburden ourselves this time as well so is then 10 palm fronts worth extra time? No, because we're going to be able to pick all of this up once we have a backpack, basket backpack. So for now, I'm just going to make a normal run back here. Yeah, okay, this X 65%. Okay, let's go back. We could also build some fish traps. I'm into that idea. Uh, yeah, we could build some fish traps actually. Now, the developers did say that the fish traps will get destroyed during the storm, uh, all of them. However, it seems like we didn't have any rain since the, this run started. So I'm having a feeling that uh, Mermaid's not going to have a very rainy playthrough. That's probably a balancing thing, so it's not too easy to go out and explore and stuff. Uh, I wonder, can we like start building a fish trap inside here? Well, if we actually knew about it, we could. <laughs> uh, all right, we don't know. We don't know about the beauties of the fish traps. We could make some deadful traps, though. That's like interesting to me. Start putting some useless things inside there, like I don't know, rotten remains and stuff. Try to capture some seagulls with it. It's not the worst idea ever, is it? Okay, let's make a couple. Okay, we're gonna need a sharp thing. We're not gonna be able to make island chicken out of it, but... There. Okay, we got some pretty fresh prawns, but prawns are so good, aren't they? Uh, I'll think about what I want to do with that. Uh, let's go. Let's grab our fishing spear. Where's my normal spear? Right there it is. Okay, let's not have this on the floor either. Okay. We can make another one. There we go. So we got two now. Okay, we discovered the shed. So we could like make a shed somewhere like closer to the island like eastern grasslands eastern highlands maybe or eastern grasslands like move a little bit more inwards where there's more wood if we need wood which we are fine now though right yeah <laughs> so i have like this minion things going through my head this is how i play when i play for the first time i am like okay we can do this we can do that but is this fine is that fine it's a hard game it's a hard game uh mermaid maybe hounds are not so deadly if they're not i feel like we've made a lot of progress for seven days well almost eight days that you're playing here well seven you start on day one so um right i think i think i want to do another dive here but not with a handful of stuff in my hands as for our plans, uh, as far as series and stuff goes, I will be playing Mermaid now for a couple of days, prioritize it, and then if I can get another video in for something else, we'll do it. But that's like a secondary thing. Okay, that gives us a little bit fun there. I think that's important. What if I dive once more? I mean, it's definitely better than building sand castles, which does not much do, which doesn't do much for us. Okay. I think we got the stress under control. I feel like it's going a little bit down each day. Yeah, it seems like stress definitely goes up all the time. I totally never noticed that, but I guess that's true. And well, the sun strength is low, so I can probably like go inside, do something here. Did we bring back any more, any more snake grass? No, we didn't. Okay, we can do that. And then I can probably like go outside and um, and spearfish. It's cloudy. We have the hat. We got a little bit of burn. So let's see. Spearfish. And then we're gonna go inside. 
so yeah the minor burn going up a little bit but it's a resource that we are using it's kind of you know okay we are hungry okay we got one fish here okay uh tomorrow we're gonna have to do a better job in terms of like food i think okay let's start the fire yeah i hate using fibers i can't wait for these leaves to be ready uh we have a lot of these palm fronts here not sure how many we need for the backpack though so but we are running out of sticks hmm. maybe backpack can wait one day okay let's start cooking food here is it early no okay let's see yeah this thing is definitely like causing us pain now though yeah it's gonna go away soon, but we definitely cannot go outside and do it more. Okay, let's uh, let's start with what's inside, right? Okay. So we are cooking some of these. Uh, what can we do? We can do a quart. There we go. Uh, I can drop this off. Well, actually, no. I would like to hold that in my hand in case a seal tries to fly in. So I hope this goes away fast because this will like uh, increase the amount of stress that we gain. Which is definitely not what I want. Uh, okay, do that. Another quart. Okay, now we can do that. We can grab two of these. Start cooking. Uh can forage there we go and then we can eat the fish good i'm gonna put the i'm gonna put we have a lot of prawns you know what we're gonna put the fish scraps into the traps there we go hopefully the seagull likes it uh, okay fire is about to burn out though we didn't bring back a piece of wood not sure if we want to use that there okay forage forage there we go oh a seaweed can we use that to repair it we can okay we're gonna be very happy sleeping in this thing i hope we could maybe do like an eight hour sleep today but there's so much work to be done i always sleep for four hours five maybe something like that Memory doesn't have to sleep so much, I believe, because of the night vision or something. Alright, we're gonna need a couple more of these in there. Yeah, okay. Maybe we'll not be able to make the backpack. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Alright, another... F okay, we can't forage anymore. We can drink, though. 21 minutes. I don't think we have enough crabs to... Well, we can do, like that so and now 15 minutes left what can we do for 15 minutes right no more snake grass to extract so that's not gonna be it how much does it take to combine these two it's 15 minutes let's combine these two there we go okay couple more crabs uh some more crabs we have lots of crabs yeah not much is the pain gone I think it is eating fish is also good oh it's cloudy outside hello lower sun strength because it's cloudy we might get the rain rain would be pretty cool then that would mean we can do stuff outside Yeah, we don't really have any short actions. Like, I can make another yarn here, but... I can make another fiber cord. I mean, we could also stop cooking. Uh, okay, so this is 15 minutes, so that's one round of 15 minutes. And I can break open a coconut and grab some meat out, but that's free once we, you know... Yeah can repair the nest uh, okay you know what we're gonna do we're gonna feed this thing a little bit more we're gonna do this for 45 minutes there we go okay that's all nice and cooked we're actually pretty good with food there we go um, I 
think there piece of stick there we go we could also make oh it's raining outside okay right so so much about fish traps then right <laughs> um let's see sun exposure oh still the same low sun strength and sun protection low sun strength influenced by light rain okay it's not like a huge change or anything if we like spearfish here we will get a burn right i mean we could just go and explore i guess mm. okay okay yeah, too bad I burned myself while the weather was not that nice, and now I'm regretting it. I really am. Hmm. Hmm. Eighteen. You know what? Let's go do one round of exploration here. Let's see how that's gonna affect us. Minor burn. Go inside. Okay, grab that. So I can cook another pair of crabs. We should make another yarn because we're gonna need a rope anyway, right? Okay, it seems like it's all right. Seems like it's all right. Oh, the sun protection went down. Why did we lose sun protection? I don't know. Uh, okay, minor burn still feels fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, this thing we can we can scavenge it. Okay, we need to do something inside here, like, let's say, let's say make a rope, 15 minutes as well. Sure, let's make a rope. Uh, put another one of these there, there we go. Make a rope. Okay, we, then we go outside. And then we like forage. Ooh. It's not going up, is it? It's not going up. Okay, I was just wondering what we're gonna do. Okay. Right. Can't complain too much about this. Uh, let's see, we do inside here... Something. We can take a short break, I guess. And then go outside, do another forge. So the rain allows us to spend outside more time than we would usually be able to. And that's going to release some more time to do during the night. We got a lot of food though. Okay. I think... Well, I want to take advantage of this rain. That's the thing, right? I'm just still not sure if, like, how well does this really protect us. Like, it seems like there's, like, no sun exposure. Okay, let's test it out. Let's test it out. So, we are cooking here. Let's go outside. Let's spend, like, half an hour outside this time. Let's do, like, a spearfishing thing. Oh no, we are definitely getting burned now. Okay, that was not good. That was not good. Okay. But, you know, <laughs> for science, right? Yeah, first degree burns gonna have a little bit of a pain. It's gonna cause us some stress. Uh, that fish, that fish we can also cook tomorrow. We have plenty of food right now. I think we turn this thing off. Well, we can try to like cook something else. 
a couple more crabs. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second degree burns. Okay. That's gonna hurt a little bit more. And we just got rid of our stress and everything. Oh, well. Okay, let's grab the stuff out. There we go. And uh, let's... Let's go to sleep now. We are sleepy. We're a little bit hungry, so let's eat some crabs before we do that. There we go. And uh, yeah, let's go to sleep in our beautiful, beautiful mermaid nest here. Don't worry, the wounds will heal over time. It will heal. I wanted to see how light rain protects you. Turns out light rain does not protect you all that much. Sadly enough. Not sure if you can eat all of these crabs. Without getting saturated, uh, apparently we can. Okay, we're gonna forge now a little bit for tomorrow. There we go. Okay, this can go there, this can go there. Right, it's almost time to go out again. And we're gonna figure out what exactly and where we want to go tomorrow. Okay. Uh, anything else here? We'll eat that. One of these. Okay, we're gonna need more fish. We're gonna need to spear fish. Okay, we can repair that, but not need it yet. I guess we're just gonna go and take a nice wash here. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, things slow down a little bit because, like, I, uh, I'm thinking a lot about a whole bunch of different things. Um, we stabilized our stress, but now we are gonna be like stressed out because of the second degree burns we did that was definitely not a good thing but i wanted to see uh and it's also gonna reduce our weight even faster but i wanted to see like uh during rain how bad is it and i was doing like 15 minute increments and i was like okay it seems like it's fine then i spent outside 30 minutes instead of 15 and boom my game's like haha i gotcha well hopefully this heals relatively fast i still don't have any aloe vera outside though so that's like you know but i feel like i feel like we can recover we're gonna puke some more let's see how our eyes our weight seems pretty good though like i don't think it changed like much since we started and uh, well we are getting closer to the place where we'll probably be able to do some advanced meals and stuff I just have to figure it out how exactly we'll definitely need a pot if we make some like of these um if we make these deadfall traps outside eventually they will start catching seagulls and if we can get access to some oil from coconuts we'll be able to like uh, cook those uh, so one idea we could do is uh, we could like try to find the bird rock if it's findable through here and then we could like uh, maybe go there explore there and then find a way towards to the other side to the rocks and get to the beach that way or we can go through inland we're gonna have to decide one way or the other uh, it's gonna be an interesting interesting journey either way but yeah, the goal for the next episode will be to make that uh, backpack, basket backpack. It will be to like uh, heal this thing. We'll be like extra careful during the rain so this goes away. Um, I might uh, I might try exploring here a little bit and try to find uh, aloe vera. I'm not sure if it grows on desolate beach. I hope it does. If it doesn't, that's like a little bit harsh. But okay, if we find some, this will heal faster and will help us out a lot. But yeah, they ate already, and well, we do have some tech, but not much. We got our nest, we got our loom. Things are looking all right-ish, and it will look all right until the sea hounds come. So, fingers crossed we can deal with them relatively easily. But that's gonna be it for this one. If you enjoyed it, like uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet and you enjoy my work, maybe subscribe. Have a wonderful day, be kind to each other. Thank you all for watching, and uh, I will see you in the next episode. The Nimer signing out. Bye-bye.